Nice boat here. Yeah, that's cool. What's that color? Of sorts. It's like aeroponics. Ah, could be. No, it's dripping. I don't know. There's a pipe going up. So. I see something dripping here now.
when I heat the water for the tilapia, which I keep it about 68 to 70 during the, the winter, um, what happens is when I've got 35 degree air outside, 70 degree water, then I get evaporation trying to come through the plant sites, then I get uh, voitritis and mold. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep this area here not, a, not super cold and not that much cooler than the water so that I don't get that, that water exchange through evaporation. And it's been tricky. Um, you know, the industry standard is to roll a big thermal curtain over here and then heat below it. But that's, you know, having someone every day open it up in the morning and close it at night. Anything manual on a daily basis is very cumbersome. Uh, even, even heating and temp temperature and vents, you know, you can come down and roll these up. But if you can spend the money up front to have a computer and do it automated, in the long run, your plants are gonna grow better and faster because the environment is just right. And that's gonna translate into more plants, more profit, healthier plants, less issues, and not being married to your plants twice a day by having to open and close or do whatever. Uh, so, you know, we're trying to uh, use as, as little energy as possible. That's why I collect oil from a, a local restaurant that we burn and run through this heater. Um, my system is it, not dialed in the way exactly that I like it, but you know, we're working in that direction. We collect rainwater off the top and it goes into these thousand gallon tanks you see outside. Uh, in the corner over here is an on-demand water heater that uses propane and there's a subfloor heating system that is underneath our troughs that helps me heat the water during the day. Like right now, instead of using that, uh, it goes through these uh, black poly tubings out here, um, which, uh, so I'm using solar. And then at night during the winter, when I'm running heat through here, I have a copper tubing of water that goes through my heater. So I'm able to heat the air and the water at the same time. So I'm really trying to use solar and veggie oil and not propane. Uh, but on a big scale, uh, it could use some honing in still. So, but you know, we're, we're working in that direction. We're, we're really trying. The, the tower over there is a prototype. We're playing with it. Uh, there's definitely some issues. Water flow is not quite even. Uh, one issue with towers is when you put one tower up, it shades another tower. And so you have to space them out. So the net gain of plant sites is not always actually that much more and so we're playing with some designs that can allow for a much higher plant site net gain versus uh, a bunch of towers and then we've got a micro green uh, prototype system that we're playing with over there also can uh, i get a one two three everybody this way real quick ready two three hey, hey. Thank you, that might be our group photo. <laughs> <laughs> so then also what we do is uh, when we seed up, you guys are going to be seeding, um, seeding and potting. And then that's what we call a, our seed rack. So I put plants in there for a week. We're pulling water out of a trough and then heat by gravity back down. Um, it spends a week germinating in there. Then we put it into our nursery, which is all the plants in the trough tied together. Um, and spends two weeks in the nursery and then we harvest over here and then we wash the wraps and move them down and then we transplant in and push everything down and then just start it every week it's, and if, if i miss a day or two i'm off a day or two for the next week so uh you know this type of system where i, I have to i have to harvest so that i have room to put in the next phase but definitely requires being very, very consistent. Um, every time you're off a few days or more, uh, it, it, it just it just keeps pushing you back. What are the dimensions of each bed? They're uh, approximately 51 inches wide and uh, it's about 10 inches deep. This is a two by 12, and then 54 feet long. 